A historic launch is set for tomorrow at New Mexico Spaceport America, the first with only civilian passengers. Tommy Lopez has a preview and a very rare inside look at that facility in Sierra County. We are set to see more space history here in New Mexico. The world will be watching as everything unfolds here tomorrow behind me at Spaceport America. We got a tour of the building. We saw the flight simulator the pilots use. Very few people outside of employees have seen these areas. We also saw mission control, the extra sets of eyes to make sure everything is running smoothly. This is a state-of-the-art facility with very restricted access. KOB crews have not been here in years. Two, one, release, release, release. This will be the second commercial space flight in southern New Mexico for Virgin Galactic, and the first without research. There will be three civilian customers. This mother-daughter duo won a lottery. They will be the first people from the Caribbean to go to space. I'm hoping to give myself that confidence to try new things. They are astronomy buffs, and they are living out childhood dreams. Hopefully, this will inspire other people as well. Take your dreams back out, conquer your fears, and go get them. The third passenger is an 80-year-old former Olympian from England who's also battling Parkinson's. Just shows you this attitude of space for all is a wonderful attitude. Rigorous training has prepared them for the launch and three minutes of weightlessness on this 90-minute flight. This launch in New Mexico is getting worldwide attention. Media from all over the world are here. It's part of British billionaire Richard Branson's goal to make space travel accessible for everyone. I was once a child with a dream. He's making use of hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars that went into the spaceport. Economic experts say this industry could have a huge positive impact on New Mexico, including in nearby truth or consequences. There are 800 people on a Virgin Galactic wait list. Ticket prices are now at almost half a billion dollars. The the goal is to do these once a month, build up to 400 each year, and let the public watch. This launch is said to be an important step forward for those goals. Near Truth or Consequences, I'm Tommy Lopez, KOB4.